Hello. Today what we're going to do is go over the contents of the 2019 April Blackout 2.0 Apocalypse Box. The Apocalypse Box is a subscription box that you get every other month. I'll leave a link down below where you can check it out. Check out the website and such and see if it's for you. Now, they give you this contents list right here and also a skill of the month. Now I'm just going to go through these and tell you what I have in the contents list and a little bit of what his thoughts were when he put these items in this kit. Now there's some cool gear here and there's gear here that I will be using for sure. I have everything in this EDC visor for a vehicle and I'm just gonna go over the items here not in order and I'll show you the visor after everything's taken out so the first thing I'm going to go over are the trauma shears now these here are stainless steel shears they have a serrated edge and they'd be perfect for cutting up seat covers uh, going through your vehicle and such to make cordage stuff for shelters and such but they're also used for cutting off clothing in a first aid type scenario so very very handy you can cut a lot with a sturdy set of shears next on the list is this multi-tool what this says is the slide winder razor knife this handy multi-tool from outdoor edge has become my new favorite EDC item it features a slide opening blade that locks securely and retracts back into the handle with the push of a button. It takes standard utility blades and is perfect addition to your EDV visor. Aside from the blade, the tool features a bottle opener, which is right there. A flat, which is right there. And a Phillips screwdriver. Now how this works is you have a button, you push the button, slide this out, and it locks into place. Touch the button, and it snaps back. And you can change it with the standard utility knife type razor blades. Also has a clip on the back with good retention. Very small, compact and very nice little piece to put in a kit also there's this whistle and I'm gonna read about that I was rather impressed with it it's the Acme 649 survival whistle based in the United Kingdom Acme has been in the whistle business for or since 1870 when stakes are high and you need to be heard to stake your life on, an Acme whistle can handle the pressure. Acme is the Rolls Royce of survival whistles, and I'm proud to have partnered with them to hook you up with the 649 survival model. The 649 is designed to be heard. Imported from the United Kingdom, it is utilized by the U.S. Coast Guard and NATO, as well as myself. It is also Mountain Rescue approved. It fits perfectly in the webbing on your Molly EDV visor and makes a great addition to any car or hiking kit. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow this and I also have a Fox 40 that I carry on my keys. I have a lot of gear here. i am actually been using this MAM pocket knife on my keychain. That fork, I was going to rip that off. This was in the last Apoca box. I was going to rip that off. But I took this off and I was eating steak in the woods with this. I cut it up and I was eating piece by piece. So it did come in handy. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Anyhow, back to this. So I'm going to blow this and then I'm going to blow the Fox 40 and compare. That's pretty loud. That's pretty loud. 
So in comparison, the Fox 40 is well known and also used by many and it works very well. And this here, about the same. Very nice piece to put in a kit. This right here is very cool. This is a SOL water purification bag. You can sanitize your water by filling this up with water and laying this in the sun. UV rays will purify your, wa your water. Now it has instructions on the back and such. And the dirtier the water, it's going to have to stay out a lot longer and such. But it says on a cloudy day, 6 hours. Cloud and sun, 6 hours. If it's very cloudy all day, 24 hours. And rain, it's not going to work if it's raining and cloudy. So, this here is great to throw in a survival kit for sure. Just another way... If you have nothing else, it's another way to sanitize your water or purify your water to make it safe to drink. Very, very cool piece of kit. This will be going in my survival kit. Next on the list is this here. This is the UV pack light. Now what this is, is you charge this with the sun, a flashlight, many different types of light sources can charge this and it will glow like you know the numbers and such that you used to put a light on and stick to a room and such it's the same kind of idea they'll glow for a while this here will glow for 10 hours after it's charged now what this says is this flat, rechargeable, and glow-in-the-dark, low-light implement is perfect to keep in your go bag. Not only does it take up little space, but every vehicle needs an emergency light of some sort. When fully charged by natural sunlight or any other light source, this UV pack light will last through the night 10 hours plus, and it only takes about one minute of direct light to charge. It acts as the perfect night light. It doesn't cast the beam like a flashlight, but once your eyes are adjusted to the dark, you'll be able to see and maneuver around objects. It's perfect for power outages and emergencies and will last forever and is waterproof as well. So very, very, it weighs nothing and very cool to put in a kit. Hang this in a tent and such, and when it's pitch black dark, this here can help you be able to see to maneuver around to grab something out of a pack and so on. I took it out on my last camping trip. And it does, I mean, it's very, very low light, but it does definitely help. This here is one of the coolest pieces in this kit, in my opinion. These are stainless steel straws. But well, he says they're indestructible stainless straw set. While a straw may not be at the top of a survival gear list, it is an item in metal form that has an incredible number of uses. Not only is it a perfect companion piece to drink from the SOL disinfection bag, but these little metal straws have an infinite number of survival uses. I keep one in my EDC backpack and use it while traveling and at restaurants instead of plastic ones. In the right hands, they make an awesome little self-defense tool. Like a kubatan? I'm not sure how you pronounce that, sorry. They are also very unassuming. It's just a straw. They can be coupled together and make a with a small piece of tubing to reach water from hard to reach places like cracks and sources in the wild if desperate. They're great for stabbing into coconuts. They can even be cut or ground to an angle to make one of the most devastating self-defense tools imaginable. 
So these are what they are. They're just straws or metal straws right there. Stainless steel. And what I thought is it's a fire bellows for sure and a small fire that you need to give some oxygen to to get it going. It's also great for coal burning. You could blow this and coal burn yourself a bowl for having out here in the bush and such. Make yourself a bowl or a cup. So you could use it for coal burning. But there's many uses like he mentioned. If you have to get down, there's a little bit of water in a crack and you can't get at it. This year you can. And it does make a perfect way to get the water out of that SOL disinfection bag. They give you a cleaner as well. So they give you two straws, a cleaner, and this bag to put them in. This here weighs very little and it will be going in my survival kit. Also this month he gave us the pocket field guide urban survival weapons. Now a lot of these here they're just thinking outside of the box and using whatever you can to make a weapon. That looks pretty brutal for sure. So that's what it's showing types of weapons that you can make out of various various items and I've come up with some strange weapons you know and stuff as a teenager you know to play around with and such but now this here <laughs> they could do some damage so Anyhow, the thing is, is this here is just a book on different items just to get your mind thinking in the mindset of if you have nothing else, this here may give you the mindset of making something and thinking outside the box. That's what this does. It just gives you ideas. If you can't find this, you can still, oh yeah, he used this, this, and this. Well, this is similar I can use something else if you're ever in that scenario but that's a good little read anyhow and it's pretty cool to see what other people are thinking for sure this here the hard candy shiv now that is also in the apocalypse box this month so this here is a mold to make your shiv also, 10 pieces of Jolly Ranchers for your hard candy. Now this here is more or less just a fun little project to do. It's a, supposed to be a one-time use. Now he mentioned about having the candy canes, the foot-long candy canes, you know, the size of your finger, and sucking on those and making those right to a point. Well, you can do the same thing with this after you melt down the candy you put tin foil in your mold here let it cool and then you can sharpen it in the same manner now icicles I've seen those very sharp as well and a last ditch type of one time use yeah it could be dangerous but this here was just a fun project that uh, he put in this here just for a project basically and yeah it's kind of fun so I may do this and leave a picture at the end and yeah <laughs> just thinking outside the box again this here is the visor right here this has the webbing here that is elastic so you can put different items in along Oops, over here <laughs> and on this side here molly straps that you could put another pouch if you wanted to it's velcro in here as you've seen it's very quick to get off of the visor and you have a couple pouches you have a smaller one here 
and a larger one. It goes all the whole length of it. So the challenge this month was to outfit this and I had did that on the way in as you've seen. I had different items from the Apocalypse box on this. So that's the challenge for this month. It's a pretty nice little visor really. And what I like about this, it has that one clip here and also here. So if I wanted to outfit this and I could run a belt through here and through here and hook it to my waist if I wanted to if or needed to. So nice construction. And a nice piece to add to the blackout box. So that there is the blackout April 2019 box. And I find a few items in that that will be very useful and that will go in my survival kit. Now with every Apoca box I seem to find two or three items and sometimes more that I can use. Now kudos to Creek for the ideas he comes up with. He has to try to keep everybody happy. And not everybody can use all the gear. Now me, like I said, I can use three or four pieces sometimes, one or two pieces. Other people may find something else that's in the box very useful, which I don't for myself. So it's very, very cool actually because there has to be a lot of thought going in behind these boxes for sure and just on my keys alone I this is what I carry I've got my knife right here that was in the apocalypse box two fishing hooks in the apocalypse box this here the screwdriver I carry this for a screwdriver but it can also take off the scales of my survival bush point. This here. Not if but when. This here has come in very handy. This flashlight. This all was in past boxes. I've got many pieces in my kits as well. And that I take camping. A lot. So there are a few pieces in this box this month. That I will enjoy. And this here is going to be going back on my visor in the car. I want to thank you for watching. Take care. All the best.